Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. This is our daily devotion for Monday, July 11th, as we're kind of exploring the theme that the youth participants at the National Youth Gathering have been participating in for a couple days now. Uh, we'll begin with our scripture reading. It comes from Ephesians 1, verses 9 through 12. Making known to us the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. In him we have obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will, so that we who were the first to hope in Christ might be to the praise of his glory. The theme for our National Youth Gathering this year is in all things, Christ in all things. Today we're starting off this series of all things by talking about this, the Bible, which is basically the account of all things. The Bible holds the, the account not just that God created the heavens and earth, but God's plan for saving his creation from the brokenness of sin. It's in all things. The Bible is the account of all things. If we have a question about a situation, the Bible will give us direction. Now granted, the Bible doesn't necessarily give us 100% specific answers to very specific questions, but it does give us a really good framework to understand God's intention for his creation and his intention for our salvation. God's plan was that we have a loving, beautiful relationship with him. One where we could walk and talk and be in his presence. God's plan was that we have a magnificent relationship with one another, where our relationship with one another is a reflection of God's love to us. That is God's plan. Unfortunately, sin broke that plan. The rest of scripture outlines God's plan for restoring the brokenness that sin created. The biblical account of all things is so that we may be in Christ, so that through him we, be, we can be made a new creation. As we explore this idea of in all things this week, let us first remember that God's word is the account of all things. All things that are relevant, all things that are meaningful, all things that are good for us to grow in our relationship with God and live as his children in the world today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us here. Thank you for making us your children. And thank you for giving us your word so that we may know your account of all things. Be with the youth as they continue to grow and, and develop in their faith of the National Youth Gathering. Be with the leaders, be with the speakers, and, and be with the youth that their hearts are open to the messages being proclaimed. Lord, in your son's name we pray all these things. Amen. Have a great day. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.